efficiency is nothing but in, you know maximizing your return on investments and anything that can increase your revenue yeah so you've got to you've got to minimize your capex and opex um, and of course you know you've got to design a network which which is more scalable and flexible you know meeting the current uh, network demands um, now there are many factors or many parameters that really influence uh, efficiency you know some of them uh, you know being simplicity which is more, most very important right uh, the more simple your network is you know it's, it's easy for you to grow you know um, then of course uh, the value of automation uh, programmability um, you know innovation how, how can you really innovate and offer more services to your customers current traffic trends right that demands uh, you know a lot of uh, you know it's it's not like the days earlier right so you've got a very sporadic uh, you know peak hour traffic and you've got you know the customers really need on demand services so uh, you know it, it's, it's very challenging as a service provider to be able to meet all those uh, customer requirements and yet keep all your capex and opex in check because you want to maximize yeah your revenue so that that becomes very important uh, you know but of course uh, you know this entire software driven approach comes to the rescue where uh, you know you could really virtualize your network you could uh, maximize your uh, you know uh, resources utilization right how efficiently you really use it so that that basically yeah but then that also means you know it's a very a destructive progress you know in terms of you've got to learn you've got to unlearn and you've got to relearn yeah so that's uh, that's the biggest challenge we face um, while it comes to the rescue you've got a price to pay so so everything comes for a price. So you've got to be careful as to where you really want to, which part of the network you want it to be redundant. Uh, typically, your backbone, yeah. So uh, your core is going to be highly redundant. Uh, but if the customer, uh, you know, premises, you would want to ensure, you know, if you, you actually, if customer pays for it, uh, you design a redundant network. If they don't, you know, uh, so last mile would of course be dependent on uh, what customer pays for. But for your backbone, you'd want it to be redundant. However, uh, you know, typically redundancy would it would mean you're going to invest more money in it so again you know the programmability in the software driven approach comes to the rescue if you could really virtualize all your network functions uh, you know you meeting the customer requirements you could scale up scale out and of course you could also achieve redundancy at a much uh, lower I would say managed cost